This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this ABC 10 News update. One of the people killed during Wednesday's rioting at the Capitol building was a woman from San Diego. Ashley Babbitt was an Air Force veteran and supporter of the president. She was born in Lakeside and lived in Ocean Beach. Now, according to police, she was shot as rioters tried to break through a barricaded door at the Capitol building. There have been no other reports of San Diegans being hurt or killed during that demonstration. The La Mesa police detective who shot a protester with a beanbag round in May will not face criminal charges. Prosecutors concluded the officer was acting in self-defense when he fired a beanbag round that hit 59-year-old Leslie Furcron during a protest in La Mesa. Furcron's lawyer say she was peacefully protesting and that she did throw a can of Red Bull to the ground. She was hit by a beanbag round after police declared the protest had become a riot. County Supervisors Nathan Fletcher and Supervisor Nora Vargas say they are introducing a resolution naming racism as a public health crisis. The directives in the resolution include soliciting community input to dismantle obstacles for minorities, revising the strategic plan to center around equity and inclusion, and making equity a major focus in all county actions moving forward. The Board of Supervisors will take up this issue during their next meeting. Megan Perry is here to talk about things all good today, I hope, although we're still dealing with some fog. So we're going to see that fog lifting along our coastline and clearing out to sunny skies, but then high clouds are actually going to be building later this afternoon and evening as more storms continue into the Pacific Northwest. For us here locally, another fair weather day. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s for the coast and mountains, low to mid 70s inland and in the desert. So that's near normal at the coast, about maybe four to seven degrees above normal in the inland neighborhoods and the deserts, but the mountain areas are actually about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than normal. That high surf advisory along our coast has been extended until Tuesday, still expecting waves of four to eight feet with local sets up to 10 feet. And high tide will be getting bigger through Sunday and Monday morning. Will it will actually exceed six feet. And this weekend, a weak round of Santa Ana winds will see a lot more sunshine. And then ne next week, expecting another round of Santa Ana winds, which will bump up our temperatures to near 80 for some of our inland neighborhoods. Virginia. Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, all you have to do is go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.